Hello guys, this is Kudo, and today in this video I will show you how you can submit an input field by pressing enter. So, let's get into it. Okay, so let's create so UI. Uh, so I will need an input field basically for this video. So what I will need to do, so let's just uh, resize this. So maybe 500 by maybe 100 like that. Let's uh, change the placeholder uh, and the text. I want to make it auto size like that. I don't need to uh, worry about seeing the text. So even maybe put uh, 700 like that. So, so how I can do like, so let's hit play. What I want to do is when I type something, so like this, and I press enter, I want to be able to submit my text and execute some function. So how can I do that? So um, uh, let's dig this uh, this question. So basically, in the input field, uh, you got some uh, you will got some uh, event. So the on value change, the on engine, uh, the on engine, the on select, and on deselect. So basically, the on value change will send an event when you change the value of your input field is changing. The on end edit will finish when you get outside of the uh, the input field, etc., etc. So I don't know why. Uh, basically, Text Mesh Pro have another one. So let's put this Text Mesh Pro in in debug. So let's uh, put it this in debug. And as you can see over there, so if I scroll back, you can see the on end edit, the on select, the on deselect, etc. And we also got the on submit function. So this function exists on text mesh pro, but I don't know why uh, they private it. So if someone know, let me know. I don't know why they, they do that and didn't, you know, uh, add it on uh, the event. So what we need to do, so we need to create an extension method to be able to add the sub unsubmit function. So, so what we need to do, so let's head back to my uh, util classes and let me show you what I will do. So again, if you knew from this channel, the util classes will be very nice. It's a static class when all utility I use from my uh, project and everything uh, are over there and you can use it to, to customize some stuff and make something, uh, some stuff useful. So uh, what are we need to do? So the first thing that we need to do, so let's create a using uh, TMP Pro, okay? Uh, and uh, because I will need it. And what I want to do, I want to create uh, a function. So let's call this function, this will be an extension method. So a public uh, static uh, void on submit, so on submit in put uh, field uh, GMP, so text mesh pro, and this will take in parameters. So let's add the word this because it's an extension method. So GMP uh, underscore input field. So let's call this input field. And let's create a head uh, callback. So I like using callback, so I know it's not a, a good thing to use too much callback, but the callback is very nice. So it will take in parameter a callback with a string and let's call it submit uh, callback. Okay. All right. And what we want to do, so we want to say, so input field, so um, the input field will put in parameter. So input field dot on submit. So on submit. So basically the input field got some function on submit, so this one, and we want to say dot add listener, so it will add for uh, for the event, and it will put it will take in parameter. So let's call it maybe uh, a string, uh, or, or maybe a text. Text we want because the add listener will need to have parameter. So the parameter basically it's a string. So let's name it text. And what we want to do with this text, we want something to do something very easy. So we'll just say if input, so input field dot was uh, cancelled. So if the input field didn't get cancelled, because this is something can happen. 
and also the submit callback different than null, so different than null, we want basically to say uh, submit callback, so submit callback, and we want to say invoke, and we would put in parameter the text, you just type it. So, uh, okay, so I forget to put, I guess, this, yes. And now we can uh, basically uh, save this and we can create our script and basically call this function. So how this will work? So let's head back to Unity. Let me create the script. So let's create maybe a C sharp script. Let, uh, let's call it uh, submit uh, input field script. Okay. Um, Let's open it in Visual Studio. So uh, I don't need uh, this, okay. Uh, I just need the start function. So let's serialize some field. So let's serialize some field. Uh, so I will need, so using Text Mesh Pro, so using GMP Pro, okay. And let's uh, create our Text Mesh Pro field. So let me try again, private, so uh, not text mesh pro but tmp okay underscore input field okay let's call it my input field so my input field and basically what we want to do because we create an extension method this uh, can basically the util the util function we just created so basically we will say um, my input field dot and we call on submit input field text mesh so basically this is the function we just created and what we want to do so let's create on submit uh, input uh, field text mesh pro and what we want to do we want to put in parameter a callback submit uh, submit callback so we just need to create so let's create a private void so uh, my uh, submit callback function so let submit callback function uh, call uh, call back function and basically we'll take in parameter a string so let's call uh, my text and what I want to do I just want to say so debug.log so debug.log the uh, current uh, text is and will say the current text is and the text will be my text so plus my text and we just need to call this function inside our input field like this so we can uh, we can save this we can head back to unity and add the script to uh, for example, for on, on my input field. So let's add components. So let's call this function. So submit input field. And it will ask an input field. So that's nice. So let's drag and drop it. Now we can save this. Let's see the console. So we can hit play. And now let's say, uh, hello, this is me. And let me press enter. And as you can see, the current text is hello, this is me. So this will cancel, not cancel, but apply the enter. And if you want to head back to the text mesh pro input field, you will need to click again. Uh, and we can say this is a good uh, tutorial and let's press enter. And again, you will see this is a good tutorial. So you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, so you can like and subscribe. I know I get some uh, commercial things, so like that. And as you can see, you can see like and subscribe. So basically, guys, that's it. Uh, so if you have any questions, so feel free to ask them. Um, keep in mind, I I just opened the GitLab, so everything I code, everything I did, you can find it on the GitLab. I will the link is in the description and if you have any trouble with that do not hesitate to comment the, um, the video i will try my best to help you 
So that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. And I guess I catch you guys next time. Bye bye.